Hey, what's up y'all? This is Jim at Video Review Labs. I'm a commercial DP and photographer, and today I've got a really cool piece of gear to talk about, the Sufoto P80. Awesome LED light, under $200, lightweight, all metal, kicks butt. I wanna tell you why. Stay tuned. Look at this thing, it's so, oh, you can put this in a backpack. You can put this in your little Pelican case, along with your camera kit, like two of these. Look at that. You can like, if you're like, if you're wearing like Jenkos or cargo jeans, I bet, I bet you could even like stick it in a pocket. All right, this comes in a really nice case. It's compact, really well built, well thought out. Um, a little bit more than I expected, to be honest. So there's some kind of divider here. You've got your standard power brick right there. You have got, a reflector, which is, it is rock solid. And then, check this out. Bah! The light, it's so small, it's so compact. It's its all metal, I love that, first of all. It doesn't feel cheap, It I mean, this is solid. This is feels like all aluminum. That's not going anywhere. It's got ratcheting, or the, the teeth or whatever, rosette. Yeah, the rosette lock there. Uh, this is not plastic, this is metal. There's some cool attention to detail here. It's thicker on the side with the bolt, which is gonna prevent it from, or help prevent it from stripping out. It's also got a through hole, so you can mount it like so, or like so. The back is super clear. You've got a nice clear LED display. Um, on off, yeah, sounds nice. It's like, it's definitely on, you know when it's on, bam pops up. It's only 5600 Kelvin, so daylight balanced. And then it has some effects like a broken bulb and lightning and stuff like that. They do make a plate for NPF and V-mount. And I actually, I'm going to get into this later, but I just took a big V-mount battery um, with a D-tap to DC, plugged it in and, and it works. This is a COB, which is a chip on board, I, I believe. So you have like a big LED diode here right in front. On a lot of lights, even premium lights, this is exposed. So for example, for one of my other lights, I have this cover, it's Bowen's mount, and it basically goes on here and, you know, it keeps it. So when it's in storage, you don't have to worry about the actual light uh, diode getting scratched. This one has a really slick glass plate covering it. Smart, that's really smart. Extra touches like that, really cool. I mentioned in the beginning that it comes with a remote. It does. I love this, I love this, and I'll tell you why. It's big. I love it because it's big. Everybody wants everything small, but the problem is, if you have a remote and it's this long, you're gonna lose it. This guy, you're not gonna lose it. I mean, it's like, change a channel on a TV. This thing's awesome. Hello, yes, Mr. President. This is my one complaint on the remote. The on-off button doesn't turn the light on and off. It turns the remote on and off. So. Ugh, I wish I wish there was like a long hold option or just another button to actually kill the light and turn it on because that would be super useful. So who is this light for? One person this is for is a person that travels and let's say they you do interviews, you fly around the country and you do interviews for businesses. Having two of these in your kit, in your carry-on luggage would be amazing. Short films, lower budget productions that need the ability to put lights in small places. Because it's so lightweight, the rigging options are incredible. This does have a fan. Um, actually, the fan and the cooling design is pretty slick on this, I like it. If you look at it in the top, you can see the cooling fins inside all around the fan. It seems like a pretty efficient way to cool this thing. There is a little bit of fan noise, but for me, I don't see it as any kind of problem. Everywhere I ever film has some ambient noise. My camera monitors have fans in them that make noise that are actually louder than, than this thing, I believe. Um, it's, it's one of those things. It's like, you can nitpick so much, like, yes, I do hear it. But when you actually go and look at the video or watch a video and listen to it, I don't think you're gonna hear it. I don't hear it. Another person that could use this, videographers starting out on a budget. You need a powerful kit that's within your budget. So you could buy two or three of these and spend less than a premium brand for one light. The value for the money is incredible. I, I would say that this is probably the best budget light in this category. 
if you have two of these, you could shoot them through like an eight by silk and get some really nice uh, diffused light that just exponentially increases the softness and the size of the light coming from such a small thing. And, and that's pretty cool. Let's show this thing in some action. The best way to do this instead of fighting angles when it's already up on a stand is take the light, set your soft box on the floor with the uh, bones mount up and you just drop it in there, turn it. There it is. Hear that click, positive click, that means it's on there. So it locks in really snug. I like it. There's, there's zero play in this thing and I think that's awesome. One place I think this light will excel is in a tabletop environment. So if you're shooting a product on a tabletop and you wanna have a strip box, a really wide strip box, when you extend that arm out, it's, it increases like exponentially how much stress is putting on the whole system. So a lightweight light source is, is a huge benefit. My strip box is beat <laughs> within an inch of its life. So bear with me. This thing is working good, but this is just, um, yeah, it's limping along. I keep using it. It hasn't failed, but it's almost there. Oh my goodness. This is, this is tricky. Usually it's way smoother, but because this is so jacked up. Three hours later. Okay, so it's on there. This is a fairly big strip box. This is uh, like four or five feet, something like that. I've used this a lot. It is worn. So just to a uh, quick demonstration, I'll show you how this thing holds. I'm holding it by the yoke. There is, there is no slippage there. It holds a lot of weight. That's been a concern by other people is does it, does it get droopy if you put a big modifier on there? And the answer is no. Uh, the Rosette locking system works amazingly well. We've got the power brick. Um, yeah, I'm gonna plug this in and get this thing lit so you can see. Here we go. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, we're at 100%. Um, my issue, I do have an issue with the power brick. The cable that goes from the light to the brick is not very long. So this brick, if you're mounting it vertical, just like on a C stand or light stand, it's gonna be just dangling. You can bongo tie it, which is what I usually do, bongo tie it to the stand so it's not hanging and stressing on the line. Um, but yeah, I really wish that they'd make this part longer. It just, it's it's not really long enough to, to be good. Anyways, so that's that. Now we start to get some really soft light and I'm gonna to cut to that to actually show you what it looks like. As you can see, uh, the only light source on that table is coming from the suit photo. And it's very nice. I haven't changed my exposure at all. I was using a big NAN light for my key light for me. And as you can see, this much, much smaller light is a, uh, it's doing its thing, man. It's lighting it up really nice. And the beauty is it's lightweight. And so you can extend it out on an arm. So yeah, this is a quick and dirty balance, just a, a bag with like some uh, <laughs> fluid heads in it <laughs> for weight, you know, make it work. But yeah, that's what you get. That looks really nice. I'm going to show you another uh, modifier. If you were doing interviews and you wanted to use the suit photo for a uh, key light, you would use this or something like this. This is kind of like my go-to. So it's going to be back on here. You hear that? Everything's metal. It sounds really good. It sounds solid. Whee! This one is actually heavier. Ah, awesome. So this is a little bit different lighting. It's a little bit more overhead just because I have this other um, key light here and I don't want to move it uh, quite yet. But as you can see, this, is, uh, this suit photo is the only light that's lighting me and it looks great. This is a small light and it's doing the job. I didn't change exposure or anything like that. I didn't want to, you know, cheat it out or anything, but, but yeah, yeah. And again, I'm producing this by myself. I'm not making fine adjustments to lighting. I'm just turning it on and showing you what it does. And this produces plenty of light to light a person. You could easily light two people with this. So if you had a second one of these, you could do a hair light or a rim light. Yeah, so let's do another one. I've got one more thing to show you. This is a snoot. Are you familiar with snoots? Snoots are cool. So I've turned this down to about 33% with the snoot. 
can kind of get an idea of what the snoot does. Well, it's a very small area and it is super bright. This is actually still too bright. Lighting small things, it's small and it's hard. All right, let's move on. Let's do, let's use this as a hair light. Please forgive the stinger in the shot. So now I've got the original lighting uh, with the addition of the Suit Photo P80 as a, a hair rim light. Yeah, so it's just giving me a little bit of edging. Yeah, a little bit. All right, I've got one more thing to show you and that's the battery power feature. This is a DIY thing that I did myself, but it's so simple that I just wanna show you in a pinch, just know that this can work and uh, bail you out if you ever need it. I'm gonna start out by saying that this is not ideal. This is basically rummaging around my office at 1.30 in the morning looking for parts to make this work so I could come shoot this today. Not ideal. So um, basically I have a carbon fiber monopod. I've got um, an old, actually powered like V-mount plate so V-mount just sticks on here and then I've got a mini super clamp that's just clamped onto the pole. Over here, I've got a D-tap. This will power it. So check it out. So we're just gonna mount this on the end here. Okay. I've got, as you can see, there's, there's no plug-in. So this cable is connected to the V-mount. And then we're gonna go right into the back here, like so. And as you can see, it works. So this is cool. You can walk around, you can do light effects. If you're doing products and you wanted to have like kind of a dramatic swooping effect where it's all black and then it kind of shh, like so um, over a product, that's, that's the product. You, you know, do something like this, just cool effects. You can put gels in here. Um, you can walk around. If you're shooting out in the woods, you wanna get just a, you're on location. You're on, <laughs> let me sit down so you can see me. Um, one of the first things that I thought about using this for that I thought would be really cool is if you're doing a tracking shot where you're following someone with a Steadicam or a gimbal and they're walking, let's say, through a house and outside or through a tunnel or some dark place and you wanna have, you wanna have just a little bit of light to make them pop a little bit. You can uh, take this guy and dim it to your liking, you know, extend this out and essentially you'd have a an operator walking right alongside the gimbal or wherever but basically keeping pace and have a moving light source so that's battery powered again this this particular setup is like barely functional um, if I was gonna do it for real I would definitely get better stuff this is very much like <laughs> duct tape together but just to demonstrate that it does work if you have any questions or comments if you think this is the best light under $200 that you can buy, please leave a comment. If you think I'm way off base and I'm wrong, you're wrong, Jim, you're wrong, you're wrong. Um, let me know. Yeah, leave a comment. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It does help. My YouTube channel is like eh, sat unused forever. So I'm going to try to make some videos and having support of people watching and knowing that people are actually seeing what I'm doing is pretty like motivating to make more videos. So thank you. I'll see you next time. Pizza! I don't know what that was. Why did I say that?